In my recent video entitled Understanding the Recent Spike in Global Surface Temperatures, I noted that the apparent spike in global surface temperatures that began in 2023 was caused by a rare three-year-long La Nina event, followed by a relatively strong year-long El Nino event. The La Nina phase led to colder ocean temperatures, which allowed excess heat in the atmosphere to be absorbed in the upper reaches of the oceans for about three years. When the El Nino Southern Oscillation weather pattern shifted from La Nina to the warm El Nino phase, that excess heat was released back into the atmosphere, creating a rapid, almost unprecedented rise in global average surface temperatures. This initially was thought, was thought by some to be a temperature spike that would begin to recede when the El Nino phase ended in June of 2024. In this update, I show that the large increase in global surface temps is continuing and that the spike may be turning into a step. This chart shows monthly global average temperature values in the lower atmosphere and it's from Dr. Roy Spencer's University of Alabama Huntsville website. Spencer is a climate change skeptic of sorts, but as you can see from the chart, the temperature data is consistent with global warming during the date range that the chart covers. The recent sharp rise in global average temperature during 2023 and 2024 is apparent on the right side of this chart. Over the 44 years of data shown, there have been a few temperature peaks that coincide with strong El Nino events, but none have been as strong nor have lasted so long as the one that started in 2023. This chart from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows daily values of the average surface temperature over approximately the same period as the previous chart. The orange line with daily average surface temperatures for 2023 covers the end of the three-year-long La Nina event and the beginning of the year-long El Nino event that started in June of 2023 and continued until June of 2024. The sharp increase in global temperatures began in early July of 2023 continued through the remainder of 2023 and has lasted now through the end of October 2024, almost 15 months. This chart from the Climate Reanalyzer shows worldwide daily average sea surface temperatures. As in the previous charts, the orange line shows the 2023 values and the red line the 2024 values. The 2023 sea surface temperatures started out somewhat low, but rose to anomalously high values as the three-year-long La Nina ended and the year-long El Nino began. The end of the El Nino phase in June of 2024 was marked by a drop in sea surface temperatures, but while somewhat lower, the sea surface temperatures remain anomalously high. The data we have so far is not sufficiently definitive to say if the large upward global temperature anomaly is just a temporary spike or whether it's part of a longer term step increase in global surface temperatures. Recent predictions from NOAA say that there's about a 60% chance for a weak La Nina event to develop by the end of 2024. If this weak La Nina does occur, we likely will see at least a modest drop in global average surface temperatures, but currently it looks more likely than not that the anomalous step in global average surface temperature will be a long-term phenomenon. For those of you who haven't seen my previous video on this subject, I've included the leak, link here on this slide. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section of the video and I will do my best to respond. As new data come in, I'll be posting more updates. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.